look at these guys the sun rising I come here every morning now with my coffee I just sit down and I just look at the sun rising from behind the Mediterranean I decided to move out of Toronto and now I live in my hometown Badalona it's just 15 minutes away from Barcelona in Spain and I decided I wanted to live right in front of the beach so I rented an apartment literally right in front so every morning I made my coffee and I come here watch the sunrise and look at that it's just beautiful So since both Ariana and I can work remotely, we've decided to leave Canada for a while and go live in different places. But before that, I gotta show you my hometown, I gotta show you Barcelona, I gotta show you the Mediterranean life I grew up with. So here we are now, every day waking up to this beautiful sun, enjoying great foods, beautiful weather, sun every day. It's not minus 20 anymore, there's no snow anymore. This is amazing guys, I don't even know how to tell you how happy I am to be having this coffee here right now. But let's just walk back to my apartment, I'll show you where I live and how cool the place is. Let's go. Okay guys, welcome to my crib. What's up? So this is the living room. As you can see here I'm gonna be recording the YouTube video. But it's just beautiful, look at this. Look. I just can look at the beach the entire time and people walking by. How about that? Let's open. It's not even cold. I'm just wearing a t-shirt right now. Look. Just the street. People walking by. It's beautiful. Ah, oh, finally back home. So today I want to talk about something that us creators and video editors we don't value a lot. And that is the importance and impact of video editing in the society we live. I feel like most of us creators, shooters, videographers, video editors, we just feel like we're these artists out there creating these videos and we don't really have an impact. Most of the time, we don't really see ourselves as business people and we always think that there's these other people out there, the business people making the millions. But what if I tell you that you're wrong? What if I tell you that you, as a creative and video editor, can be the most influential person in a room? Okay, just think about this one stat I'm gonna tell you for a second. Americans spend an average of 5.4 hours a day in front of their phones. And now you might be thinking, yeah, I know, people are addicted to their phones and we constantly spend all the time in front of our phones. We all know that. Okay, now let me tell you this other stat. Seven out of every 10 minutes, are spent on social media, photo and video apps. Do you know where I'm getting at now? Yes, 70% of the time the people are spending in front of their screens is actually watching content. And I guess you probably know what's the kind of content that it's consumed the most. It's video. And guess who create videos? Yes, you're right, video editors. And that's the reason why I say that video editing is one of the most valuable skills to have in our generation. Absolutely everything we consume is video. Entertainment, education, recipes, tutorials, corporate, absolutely everything is video. In this crazy world called internet, the video editor is the king. Think about it for a second. Traditionally, in filmmaking, who has the power? The director. And now if we think about TV shows, who has the power? the writers. Well, in the world of internet, I guarantee you that the power is for the video editors. This is our medium. And again, going back to the traditional role of the video editor, the video editors, it was such a boring role. If you think about it, in filmmaking, the job of the video editor was always to be unnoticed. So basically, if you watch a movie and you don't notice the job of the video editor, that means the video editor is doing a great job. How lame is that? How sad is that? Your whole job is to be unnoticed. But if we think about the online world, that's completely the opposite. Now the editor is the one that has to be noticed. You have to make your video stand out by using editing tricks, right? So we went from like a traditional way of like make the cuts seamless so no one knows that there's cuts to make the cuts pretty obvious because this is the whole point of online. And since I'm talking about this, I wanted to show you a few examples on how this is so obvious. For example, the YouTuber Vernonator6497 became really famous and went viral because of the way he was editing his videos. He basically took a regular piece of content, such a concert or like a TV show, and got rid of the original audio. 
And then he added the audio on top of it, making it super awkward, adding farts and burps and laughs and weird sounds. And people really loved it. And the main reason why they really loved it is because his editing skills, because he edited the video in a way that it was really funny, it was very different from everything else. The cuts and the edits were so obvious, but that was the whole point. Another example that I really like and I really love her work is Emma Chamberlain. If you don't know her, this girl blew up by making these YouTube videos where basically she constantly makes fun of herself. But it's not only about that, it's also the way that she edits. If you watch her videos, you're gonna see that there's a lot of cuts, zoom ins, crushes, random sound effects. And then she cuts to herself editing the video and then she cuts back to the actual video. She's just using all these editing skills to make this content very entertaining and engaging for everyone. Road trip! Baby Emma, she is so young and 17. I'm kind of craving like a trip, a relaxing, nice, relaxing trip. <clears throat> okay, but. Another great example of this is TikTok. TikTok, the platform, is nothing else than a generator of video editors. Think about it. Everything they do is related to video editing. For example, the TikToker Brody Well Maker, he blew up by using duets on TikTok. Duets is basically a tool on TikTok that allows you to reuse other videos from other creators and mix it with your own. And you can create really funny videos such as these ones. So TikTok still gives you the tools, but you still have to edit. You still have to think like a video editor and create these compositions, right? Well, let me tell you, these are pure editing skills right there. Video editors are defining the aesthetic, humor, and power of online storytelling. We have the power. Forget about directors, forget about writers. We video editors right now have the power. Like social media has shown that anyone can become huge and vital just by creating the right piece of content. And guess what kind of content is that? Video. And that's why by knowing the importance of having such a skill in our generation, I decided to put together a video editing course that I called it 20 steps to increase your video editing rates. As you know, I've been freelance video editing for many years now, and I've got lots of friends asking me about my edits and also how much do I charge for my videos. The truth is when I tell my friends how much I charge, most of the time they're like, what, you charge that much for your videos? And I'm like, yes, that's how much I charge. And then my friends, the ones that they're video editors, they're like, oh, I don't feel good enough to be able to charge this amount. Trust me, I've been there myself. I've been in a spot where I was not feeling confident enough or not good enough to be able to charge a certain amount for my videos. When your video looks pretty good, but it's not really looking like that crisp, sharp, professional look, you would like it to be. So in this course, I'm giving you all these little secrets and techniques that make my videos look professional. So brands like Mercedes-Benz, Air Canada, Lamborghini, or Microsoft wanna keep working with me. And I'm gonna tell you something, there is not that many secrets. What is important is for you to understand and know what is that thing that your client values the most and what are those combination of things that when you put them all together and you keep creating them in your videos, your client perceives them and your client goes, wow, this video is dope, I love this video. Things like, for example, cutting a song seamlessly so the client doesn't know that the song has been altered, doing a proper color correction through the entire piece so there's like consistency, or editing to the beat to the song so when the song evolves, your video also evolves. So in my course, you will learn all these little secrets and things that I use to make my videos look the way they do. And not only about the visuals, but feel the way they feel. I think that's even more important. Like when you complete a piece and you're doing an edit, what you're doing is you're making someone else feel something about that edit. Maybe that's through like the combination of cuts or the song or the sound effects or the combination of everything. But you're basically making your client and people in front of the screen feeling a certain way. And that's what I do when I edit. 
I make people feel stuff, whatever it is. Maybe I can make them feel excited. I can make them feel romantic. I can make them feel very grateful. You name it, there's so many things you can make people feel. But that's one of the most important things, that you understand that as long as you can make on the other side people feel, your edit will be successful. I want to think that every time you watch one of my edits, you feel something. Whatever it is, there's something there that you're feeling a little bit different. And that's what differentiates me from other editors. And it's nothing else than all these little things I've been learning all over the years that when you put them all together, they make you feel in a different way. And all these things is what you will find in my editing course. I will show you from the very beginning, pre-production, until the very end, delivering the project, all the steps I do when it comes to edit a project. So yeah, with this whole reflection about the importance of video editing in our society, I wanted also to present my video editing course. The truth is, I truly believe there's a lot of value in my course and the price is actually very reasonable because you're getting nine hours of course and I'm also giving you all the raw footage so you can practice editing and you can practice color correction with professional footage. And since I'm feeling so grateful and I'm really happy to be finally sharing this course with you, I want to gift five courses for free. The only condition is that if you get the course, you finish it within a month, so you will have one month to finish it. And if you want to participate in the chance of winning one of these courses, there's going to be five for free I'm going to be giving. The only thing you need to do is write in the comments the following sentence, video editing is king. So just write that in the comments and you'll have the chance to win one of the courses for free. So you'll see that the price right now is discounted since I'm launching it, I decided to come out with a discount and it's only for $100. That would be the main course, nine hour course and you have access during an entire year. You also see that I have another pack that I call the premium pack. So that pack is a little bit more expensive. With this pack, you will have two hours of mentorship with me one-to-one -one, and you'll be able to ask me any questions you want. And also you'll be able to show me your own projects and get feedback from me. And that's it for today's video. I really wanted to show you my new place. I'm blessed. I'm really happy to be here back home by the beach. It's really hot. It's beautiful. And I'm so happy that I'm not in minus 20 degrees Toronto right now. I don't really miss it, so we'll see what happens there. But yeah, really excited to be here. I'm actually really pumped. I already started connecting with creators here in Spain. I'm gonna be traveling through Europe, so it's gonna be amazing. And as always, if you like this video, just hit the like button. It actually helps my YouTube channel a lot to grow. And if you like this kind of content, just hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys very soon. Remember, if you wanna be in one of the courses for free, just type on the comments, Video editing is king.